Greetings, travelers, and welcome to Geronimo Draws Sketch Cards. Hope everybody's doing well. Good evening, good evening. It is 6 o'clock here, 6.07. I'm, I apologize, I'm seven minutes late. Uh, the cat box needed to be cleaned, and the cat was crying for food. We can't keep the cat uh, starving there. Oh, what music is this? Daydreaming. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I accidentally hit daydreaming. That didn't sound right. Okay, now, that's better. Now we're right at home, folks. Revan Saber, what's going on? Good to see you. It says, howdy. Good to see you, Revan. Hope you're doing well. Anything goes. He says, December is going to be a fun month. I agree. I agree. It is going to be a fun month. Lots happening, right? Uh, he says, hello, everybody. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, we are going to do a new holiday Blood Realm character mashup. And for this one, we're going to do Krampus. And we're going to do Krampus Gorn, which is kind of like a match made in heaven when you think about it, right? I mean, Krampus is already this goat-like looking creature. So are we cheating? I don't know. <laughs> but it works out. It works out just fine. So I have my rough sketch here. I imagine some big sack. And we'll have Krampus here or our Gorn Krampus carrying a sack with his signature arm blade here different horns we'll give him nice big horns here okay so that's that's what i'm imagining and and you know i see different versions of krampus sometimes i see him with a santa suit or some kind of demon creature i'm not quite sure i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna go with since he's the anti-Santa, it make it might be just fun to just have him in some kind of Santa suit and we can utilize the color of the card. So let's uh, let's play. Let's play, folks. So here we go. I'm gonna dive right into it. I have my ink here ready to go. And let's find our outline. I definitely want to get right here the outline for his arm blade. This way we have that for sure. And the rest we can kind of, again, you know, like, you know how um, there's that, I don't know what you call it, the, the frumpy part of Santa's sleeves there. We can kind of get something like that in there. And utilize, like I said, the color of the card. Okay. Santa suit is pretty traditional, right? Yeah, I figured. So we'll stick with that. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with that. All right, get that in there. So I hope you guys had a good day. Day's not over yet, but I hope you had a good one. I'm feeling a little under the weather, unfortunately, but I need to draw and I need to hang with you guys. I think it's just the semester coming to an end. Finally, it's like uh, everything starts to catch up with me during the, the last week of work. Always catches up with the last week. Okay, so let's get... Again, I'm imagining some little frumpiness here. You know, like the little white part in Santa's outfit, but we'll make that a white color. And here, let's get the ears of Gorn here. We'll have him look a little pr pretty dastardly. We'll have him look a little freakish here. And his face will definitely... Definitely make the face white. Hey, Paul. Good to see you. Oh, I missed some uh, some comments there. He goes, uh, you got a case of Fukital? Fukital? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> uh, don't get too close. Rob has the blight. I do have the blight. I'm a little nasal. I'm a little nasal. It's just catching up. Don't forget, I'm around students and kids all day. So... You know, I was surprised it hasn't happened already, to be perfectly honest. I was like, wow, I'm doing really well so far. <laughs> but I'm finally starting to hit. But it's okay. It's all right. I'm going to be just fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, that, that tech scavenger was a fun piece, Paul says. It reminded me of a villain in the last chapter of Heavy Metal. It's still sitting there, unclaimed. It certainly is. That's right. But I'm bringing it all out for the Alterna auction. I don't know if Pete officially announced it yet, but he will be announcing the day soon. Um, 
so far, it's supposed to be this weekend. So any unclaimed sketch cards, folks, will be on that auction. There's about three or four of them. Oh, oh, Sketchosaur. He says, out of the hospital, appendix ruptured, but the surgery was smooth and I'm heading home. Oh, Rex. Oh, so, so happy to hear it, brother. So happy to hear it. Thank you so much for updating me, man. Oh, man. Oh, crazy. So happy to hear you're doing okay, brother. I tell you, I had that done and it is, it is no picnic. Let me tell you, it is, uh, it's brutal. I'll never forget the pain of that. It's hard to describe the pain of the appendix. I have to say, when that thing is about to rupture, I swear, it's like you, you're ready to claw it out yourself. You're in so much pain. You're just like, just, it's all right. I got my fingernails. I, I, I got this. You guys are taking too long. <laughs> but that's what it feels like. Yeah, glad you made it indeed, Sketch. I agree. Oh, man. Glad you're all right. I hated that. That was a brutal experience when I had that done. And what's crazy is that the doctor was late. I remember being in pain and they were starting to get worried. They thought the thing was going to was gonna burst. Ugh. Horrendous experience. Let's give him a little bit of a nice little... Elo not eloquent, but he's got a goat beard going. I'm digging this so far. We kind of got the whole gesture and vibe of our Krampus Santa here. I have seen the movie Krampus. Uh, I will say it's 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 something. <laughs> I don't think it's a particularly great movie. I appreciate the effects. When it is on, it's funny. When it's on, I need to like watch it certain parts I like to watch it does I feel like it goes on a little too long in some moments it's like okay it's like uh, this could end right about now or we don't really need this long drawn out part with the family at least, at least that's how I felt but not 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 a terrible or bad movie just just, uh, I don't know. I can't describe it. It's not a staple for me, if you know what I mean. Not a Christmas staple. Could have been way worse, Sketchosaur says, but the rupture was oddly contained by the fat around it. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at that. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> wow, brother. That's wild. You know, drawing this type of horns on uh, on Gorn here, we need to have a, a satrium with long horns like this. I think that would be pretty wild. Uh, Paul says, one of my favorite Simpsons bits was when Dr. Hibbert cut out that guy's appendix and threw it like a grenade. Don't thank me. Thank the knife. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's really great. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Simpsons is great. My Christmas staple is Chevy Chase and Christmas Vacation. You want to hear something crazy? I've never seen it. I know. I know. Never seen it. Never seen it. I know that's going to send some people like, what? Yeah, I've never seen Christmas Vacation. Never seen it. Yes, I know, I know, I get that a lot. I know, I, I get that a lot, and I always say I'm going to watch it, but I never get a chance. You know what it is? I never even get a chance to watch the movies I want to watch. Let me just get Gorn's face here. Okay, there we go. 
He's got those long teeth, Gorn. Oh, there we go. Oh, the heathen. Oh, everyone's saying, my goodness. Anything goes, my top two is Scrooge with Bill Murray and Christmas Vacation. Maybe I'll watch it tonight. Under the weather, might as well watch some kind of comedy. I could certainly use a comedy tonight. Especially after the content I have to cover in the last week of school. It's like we go into World War II. You know, the, the trauma of World War II. That's why it was like perfect timing when this uh, Godzilla movie came out. Because I was like, oh great, I'm already knee deep in this depressing content. <laughs> this depressing part of history. Oh man. Okay, let's get in there. I'm liking this so far. He's looking good. Oh, Bill Murray. Scrooged is one of my favorites. I'll give you that. Okay, so Scrooged. Um, let's see if I could think off the top of my head with really... Okay, let's see. Off the top of my head, favorite Christmas movies. Um, in no particular order. The, the original... Oh, that'll be fun. I just thought of something real quick. Wouldn't it be fun to do like uh, Lord Scythus is Scrooge? <laughs> Who would be his Bob Marley? That'd be really funny. Wayne, what's going on? Good to see you, Wayne. Good to see you. Oh, man, we can do like Blood Realm. Blood Realm Christmas Carol. Oh, that would be so much fun. Oh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a good December. Okay. So off the top of my head, if I had to think, well, if I had to think, I have to think. Um, top. Let's see, top Christmas movies number one. I'm sorry, I said before, no in particular order. Uh, uh, oh, Captain Goodnight says, Targanis is Marley. Goddess mode Jezreel as Ghost of Christmas Past. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. This is going to be a blast. I can't wait to do all that. Oh, man, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, Chiron Morvel of Ghost of Christmas Present and Wyler as the Ghost of Christmas Future. What? Oh, man. That's a... Cr oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. I'm going to have to screenshot that. I like that a lot. Vulture as Ralphie from A Christmas Story. Oh, my God. That's great. Oh, well, okay. I have to remember all that. I'm not going to remember it now, but I'm going to, I'm mentally trying to concentrate so I know to come back to the stream and look at that. Christmas story is another fave for him, but for, uh, oh, for uh, anything goes. Yeah. Uh, so for me, it is Christmas Carol with Alistair Sim. That is, and again, if I had a pick in order, but uh, I mean, that would be probably number one. Uh, so uh, a Christmas Carol with Alistair Sim, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, it's another one. I always love the claymation movies. What is it? There's another one, isn't there? Uh, there's a, the Santa Claus one, I remember that was a great one. For some reason, my brain remembers a Drummer Boy movie when I was young that was stop animation. I don't know if my, if I don't know if my <laughs> my memory is right or if I'm just imagining it but I remember I remember that I don't remember if it was any good but I do remember that in my brain oh, let's get that texture going here so we get that fluffiness this is going to be good Rankin Bass made a Drummer Boy movie. Oh, I do remember a Drummer Boy movie during Christmas occasionally on TV. As American, I respect no story more than a young man getting his first rifle from Santa. 
I, I, that's not one of my staples. I think it's a funny movie. But it's not one I return to. Uh, wow, that's funny. Why can't I think of Scrooge? Scrooge is a great one. Wow, I'm, I'm, why can't I remember? Let's see. Well, actually, during Christmas, I do like to watch that uh, Franco Zuffarelli, Jesus of Nazareth. I do like to watch that. It has a really epic, epic feel to it. Uh, I think it's like the first half of the movie. Not the first half. It's it's a it used to, it was a mini series on TV in the seventies. But I always got inspired by that. The music is amazing. It's a great movie too. Uh, let's see. Die Hard. So funny. Batman Returns is on this list. Oh, and Home Alone one and two. What's wrong with me? Jingle all the way. Yeah. Okay. Those are some big ones. Yeah, those were, that would be the list I can think of. It's, not, it's so funny, though. There's movies that I don't really associate with Christmas that I need to watch. Like, I need to watch Lord of the Rings. I need to watch Empire Strikes Back. I need to watch The Hobbit. And it's not, not quite... Christmas movies, but they just put me in the spirit of Christmas. Yeah, it's pretty funny. All right. Oh, Wayne says he got the cards. Oh, fantastic. Oh, great. He says, got the sketch cards today. Oh, wonderful. Uh, let's see. Okay, good. Turbo, Turbo Man. <laughs> Doll. <laughs> right. He goes, oh, okay. I didn't know you hated movies. I don't hate movies. Oh, my God. Oh. Touchy subject. I get it. Turbo Man. Oh, I love that movie. Okay, so we got our base down now go oh I'll, last crusade i consider that a it's so weird certain movies again that are not christmas movies that i i need to watch it during christmas indiana jones the last crusade is one of them too so non-christmas movies that i watch during christmas it's lord of the rings hobbit uh Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. There you go. Need to watch those. Oh, there we go. Christmas Gorn. Look at Christmas Gorn. Uh, let's see. White Alakazam. Pause the stream. Go watch Empire. Uh, chat can wait. Empire? I've watched Empire Strikes Back. That's one of my favorites for Christmas. Uh, let's see. Just got out of Godzilla. It was great. About to drive home, but I'll be lurking until I get home. So be back in 20. Oh, fantastic. I absolutely loved it. So glad you liked it, Alakazam. Powerful movie, right? Powerful. So impressed with that film. So incredibly impressed. It really touched on everything that you would want from a movie. You know, it, it, the, the heavy themes, you know, um, you had all the, uh, the incredible action that was just superb. Truly one of the, the best movies I've seen in a very long time. Okay, uh, let's see. I miss it. movies. I used to like. Uh, has anyone seen Life and Adventures of Santa Claus? It's an L. Frank Baum story done by Rankin Bass. It's the craziest Christmas show 
I don't think it's ever on TV anymore. No. Wayne says, Goodfellas is definitely a Christmas movie. Oh, wow. Uh, that's funny. It's funny. They're always running also on Christmas sometimes. Uh, a Godfather uh, marathon. Although my family, we immediately turn it off once What's It Called comes on the third one. That's when we're like, okay, had enough. Get that in there. There we go. Krampus going, looking cool. Buddha Bear, what's going on, Buddha Bear? Good to see you. Anything goes says, I used to like Miracle on 34th Street, but Mara Wilson blocks me on Twitter. Mara Wilson. So obviously you mean the new one. <laughs> I never saw that. He blocks you on Twitter. Oh, goodness gracious. That's hilarious. It's about family, right? Right. Godfather's about family. You can certainly say that. Okay, so I'm going to make the light come from the left side here. We have the sack here. He's coming along. Christmas Krampus. Christmas Gorn, rather. Making his debut. You guys know, as always, if you like the artwork, you can always grab the sketch card. Otherwise, we'll add another one to the Alterna auction this week. All right, let me get some detail in there before we start going with the black i think i got caught up in a chain blocking or following someone else that she beefs with oh so childish right there we go he's looking good okay so now we have our base we're going to slowly start building now um i have to put some red paint Put some, oh, my wife just said, Meek Tiny Tim, she just texted me. Meek Tiny Tim, she must be watching. <laughs> Meek Tiny Tim is a great idea. <laughs> Meek Tiny Tim. I said Tiny Tim, like uh, Pete's alarm clock. But it's, oh man, that's a good one. That is a good one. Is there an... Auction Saturday Night Rob. Yeah, I don't know if Pete has officially announced it. But there is supposed to be an auction coming up. This weekend. Oh, come on, baby. Let's get this. Trying to get this paint out. If you can see, I'm squeezing so hard. There we go. All right. Oh, boy, oh boy. This 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 paint here is really solid paint. Heavy duty. Have to wet it a little bit. I feel we gotta wet it just a little. Yeah, there we go. Just to loosen this paint up. It's the job done though. I gotta give this paint credit where it's due what is this this is oh this is windsor newton acrylic oh no wonder i didn't even know i had this this is really thick paint i just want to drop down a little i'm using on a windsor newton brush how do you like that 
Okay, good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Tiny Tim, uh, Tiny Tim got his wish. He became a half snail resistance leader. <laughs> uh, thoughts on Star Wars Christmas special? I love the Boba Fett cartoon part. I always thought that was so cool when I was young. Even now, I always thought that was the coolest part. Otherwise, I mean, uh, you know, as a kid, I, I, I mean, I used to love the Ewok movies when I was a kid. But the Christmas special was not something that, uh, I don't know, it's, it, it's now, I, I mean, I don't think I could watch it now. Maybe I could watch it now and laugh at it. But it is certainly wacky and weird. But I really did like the animation that was used for, for the Boba Fett scene when he's riding that gigantic dinosaur. I watch how this comes to life now. This is going to be really cool. This is going to come along really fast. Watch. There we go. There we go. Darkness under the mouth there. The texture, there we go. This is really neat. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm drawing this. I'll never get over it. This is like insane to me. Doing Christmas versions of my characters. This is nuts. This is totally nuts. I'm surprised Cigar Gangster isn't here. Too bad. Well, hopefully he can grab the card uh, at the auction. Yeah, this is fun. Get some texture on the blade here. There we go. Looking pretty amazing so far. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Uh, no of it, don't care about anything but the FET cartoon. Yeah, basically. I agree with you there. So now you see how we're just layering everything, and this is how I like to work. I found that after working on these cards for so long so far, doing so many of them, I like this, this way of working. It's been really fun. Kind of have the little texture there, right? I'm calling Arthur 81 movie a Christmas movie for now on, so that's my my, my favorite. Oh, Buddha Bear. Hopefully the hopefully the gangster didn't get whacked. Oh my god. I feel like there's other Christmas movies that I can't think of. Uh but I think that was a good that was a good list. Oh, Gremlins is another one. I haven't I have to admit I haven't seen Gremlins in a long time, but but yeah. Yeah, this is some good stuff. Charlie Brown Christmas, Home Alone, Home Alone one oh yeah, number two. I never bothered with the sequels of Home Alone. I was no desire whatsoever. <laughs> I remember being so scared as a kid of Home Alone, mainly because of the house. Now, my family, we had a basement like that that looked so scary. I used to hate when my parents would ask me to go down there. Like to get laundry or do anything, whatever it is. I was so terrified. I was just waiting for some demon thing to speak to me. <laughs> I was just so scared.
it was so funny too because you know as a kid you think you're the only one going through that stuff who has that feeling so when i saw that in the movie i was like wow it's like that's a thing i uh, i go through that i'm waiting for the demon furnace to speak as well and he always called himself the blighted one isn't that strange oh things can come full circle <laughs> Here we go. Child therapy, rather. <laughs> As a parent, you'll have to weigh the price of therapy for you're paying for a finished basement. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. This is fun. Look at him. Gorn is festive. Ready to punish all those bad boys and girls. This looks great. <laughs> this looks great. Oh my goodness. Let's see. I just filled my Pentel pocket brush pen with a new cartridge. Here we go. So let's get some of this in there. This is the sack. Put some highlights on it over there. And now we can get, there we go. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. This, this is really cool. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Schwarzenegger says in Jingle All The Way, right? Doesn't he, when he looks at his son's, what do you call it? He looks at his son's uh, karate band. Oh, what's this? This is really cool. Jamie, come on. It's turbo time. I, I, that one is great. I love that one. I saw that in the theaters. Uh, let's see. Uh, was I the only one that feared little monsters still, uh, still do like drinking apple juice? Little monsters. Is that the movie? The monsters. I think I know what you're talking about. That movie freaked me out too. Is that with the blue guy? Oh, I remember so, like a really twisted scene in that. Kind of traumatized me a bit. Jump, Dana. Daddy, Daddy will catch you. <laughs> Paul, Paul spelling out. Uh, Paul spelling out um, how Schwarzenegger talks. That's hilarious. Oh man, I just got this nice um, vinyl. Uh, I got it on Black Friday. It ended up uh, it was The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings uh, by the Prague Philharmonic. It finally came in. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Phonetic Schwarzenegger. That's it, Paul. Phonetic Schwarzenegger. Uh, I can't wait to listen to it and see how it plays. 
Really excited to try it out. Come on, baby. Gotta lay this on thick. Yeah, that's the one. Yep, I remember. I remember Buddha Bear. Let me tell you, I, it's funny. I, I blocked that movie out of my memory. Movie freaked me out. Okay, I just wanted to put more paint here because I didn't want to have any more of the things showing there. So now what I'll do is this is I'm very happy with how this is coming out so far. I'm going to do the black splatter. Okay. So black splatter commences now. So let me just clean this brush real quick. There we go. He's finger painting now. You got to be finger painting a little bit. Okay. Let's get there it is. Okay, I was looking for my ink. Christmas Gorm. I don't know what that was. Started out as Schwarzenegger and then it went into like I don't know what. Okay, so this is right here our spot for it's gotta be dirty i mean he is a monster wow i like this a lot i can't wait to do more of these this is gonna be a blast this is gonna be so much fun where's your christmas spirit Get some on the blade here. There we go. I don't want the blade so perfectly clean and white. There. Yeah, that's enough of that. Okay. So now that we did that part, let's see. Uh, to those of you who drive with their brights on the whole time when it's dark out, maybe the blighted one. Find out, find you. May the blighted one find you and link your toes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry you're dealing with that. Paul says you still accepting payments on Square if we want to snipe a few of those before Saturday. I am, yes. I I still do, Paul. Yes, I do. Uh stripe. Um, I don't know if you still have my stripe info. Um, but, uh, but yes, absolutely. And then, um, and then I'll take them, I'll make sure the link is deactivated too. So if anyone gets these before the auction, yeah. Paul says, Paul says excellent. <laughs> Great. Uh, Revan says, going with your blade so bright, won't you slash that slave tonight? <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh, God, that's funny. Okay, let me focus. Uh, I need... Ah, here we go. Okay, we need speed lines. Speed lines. And then maybe we can get a little snow. Maybe that will be... We can get a little festive and just a couple of dots of snow. Well, I mean, we're going to do the splatter. You know, if we do Chiron as actual Santa, I feel like he would be the antithesis of this. We could make him more jolly and cool looking. Like Santa Knight. I 
I'm actually reading Christmas Carol right now. Uh, it's so funny. I, I never read it before. I can't put it down. It's amazing. I, I, and I have to fish, finish this history book I've been I've been into, but I just I read a little bit of Christmas Carol and I'm just I'm just sucked in, man. Mr. Dickens, he's that guy's good. Let me tell you, I, w- I was blown away. I was sitting there, I'm like, this is such a great, fun read. If you like the human story of Godzilla, you should check out the Korean movie Pandora. Very similar. Oh, really? Oh, White Alakazam. Sounds good. I never even heard of that movie. That's not like The Host, right? Is that? I know there's a Korean movie called The Host. That's something else, right? Here we go. Look at that. Okay. I want to do light, very light splatter here. Very light splatter. I got to be a little careful. This is this is a lot of fun. I saw it on Netflix, he said a few years back, and no, the host is good though. Okay, yeah, never saw the host. Yeah, it's funny. I've been. Um, I need to buy. I wish they did a 4K of the original Godzilla because I was really. After I came out of that movie, I'm definitely gonna get Godzilla minus one on Blu-ray. I need to own that movie. I, I have not stopped thinking about it since I saw it. It's. And again, it's, and you guys know, you you guys heard the review in my discussion. It's a little bit more personal for me, you know, having you know grown up with someone with with PTSD, and you know things that can trigger him into these flashbacks that were, you know, it's like, yeah, it's uh, as a kid, it's um, you know, it's it's tough to see. So you know, I, I really I really gravitated to that stuff in the movie because I was I was surprised they went there, you know, and and and. Uh, so yeah, it's just uh, I don't know. I just find the the movie very powerful. So I need to need to have that. I have to have it. Really, it was really good. I'm glad you liked it too, Alex Zam. Oh yeah, it's so good. I wanted to watch it right away after it ended. Me too. I know. I haven't had that feeling in a movie in a long time. I feel the same way. All right. Uh, okay. Right here. Okay. There we go. It's like snow. Look at this. It's like snow. <laughs> the white looks great. Oh, fantastic. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Oh, man. This this is really fest- festive. I went to the 35, uh, 355 showing on a Monday, so the theater was dead. Oh, great. It was me and one other person. Oh, awesome. Let me tell you, it, one thing, as a kid, I don't know why, when I was younger, I always thought like, oh, you know, I don't want to be the only person in the theater. Now forget it. That's like, that's something I hope for every time I go to the movies. I'm like, please let there be no one here. <laughs> it's so strange. I never used to feel that way. Here we go. Wow. Boom. Guys, I really, this one really flowed. I had a lot of fun with this card. Uh, man. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So many good Korean films and shows on Netflix. Hollywood really screwed up this, this time around. Yeah. And I, I'm a, my thoughts, I really believe they're going to be really stubborn because. You have people in this industry right now who are not creative people, who the only thing they know, and some of them no fault to their own. So I blame I blame the schooling uh, and, of course, the parents. They're not creative people. They are trained and bred to be activists. And I see this in this schooling to this day. 
you know, I, I work at three universities and I see some teachers who just exercise their, their teacher power to really push particular points of views that really, you know, I had the discussion with one, with one professor and I was saying, you know, these kids just came out of high school and some of them are getting their first girlfriends. Like, like, just leave them alone, man. <laughs> like, 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 leave them be. They, they just, they just want to learn. They just want to be right now. They don't want to deal with this stuff. They don't want that. So just leave them alone. Just teach what you got to teach and let them make up their own minds. They're already terrified. They're already, you know, they're already anxiety written, written because of the, the phones and, and um, things they're told. It's like, just leave them alone. Leave me alone. And those people are in these companies now, in these, in this, in creative power, and they don't, they're not creative people. And I really believe they're not going to go down without a fight. I think they're going to stick around for a very long time. And uh, that's why you got to support indie. To be perfectly honest, that's it. Uh, let's see. Have you seen the new Godzilla vs. King Kong trailer that released? Oh, I did. Oh, my God. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm so glad you brought that up. Uh, I did. So uh, I, I saw that trailer. What was it? Uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla New Empire. I was like, oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> like what the antithesis, the complete opposite of what God, Godzilla minus one stood for. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, I, it, then the two of them running together, I, I, I just, I just cracked up laughing. You know, it's, it's, it looks, yeah, that running. Also, why does Kong have the infinite, infinity gauntlet? I know, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> it's absurd. It's, it's not for me. It's not for me. It's, they've turned everything into marvel comics no excuse me marvel movies i uh, dare i say comics right uh they, they turned it into the marvel movies and it's uh at this point i'm like this is a parody you know it, it, and you could tell too the the cutting of the of the of the trailer everything in your face so fast you can't breathe you know what i mean and you have these i don't i don't know who that other kid, gorilla is you know i mean the story is so insane there's a world underneath i, I can't even keep up it's 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 certainly wacky but who knows who knows popcorn you know some people we need that escapism where we don't have to think so there is a place for it there is a place for it i know white alex says i love how they released that the same week godzilla destroys the box office oh they're capitalizing on that without a doubt without a doubt uh, he said evs was talking about the same thing in his godzilla review they said that the people today out out today out the message they want to throw in your face first before thinking about the story yeah and um you know and seeing a lot of peers you know it's this is what they believe they're supposed to do it's it, it's a mess it's a mess that's why go indie folks go indie and you know we see what's coming out with japan right now you know that that's why that stuff is so refreshing because when you know you don't get that kind of stuff like that Sorry, hold on, I got distracted there. Okay. All right. Well, folks, uh, I'm going to wrap this one up because I don't want to touch this anymore. I re I'm really happy with how this turned out. But this was a lot of fun. I needed this. I wasn't feeling great, and I was resting all day after work, and I was like, ah, I, I want to stream, but I'm not feeling great. Uh, so why write a story? Just get some programmers to make a spectacle. Exactly, Paul. Exactly. Oh my God! Oh, you're gonna get me down something, and it's already ten. Oh, I can't. <laughs> we we will talk about this next time. I promise, folks. I I promise. <laughs> oh man! But uh, yes, uh, thank you, everybody. Captain Goodnight says turned out great. Oh, thank you. Anything goes. He says art is outstanding. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I said they don't know how to tell a story or just don't know people. Korea can do a BA female character, but not OP to the men. Uh, it's crazy. Again, Indy's the way to go. Indy's the way to go. And things will change. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of time. But we'll change eventually. 
and how long it'll be i don't know i don't know but in, in the meantime i'm going to try and give you the best stories i can possibly give you and that's it that's all that's all we can worry about so uh, good night everybody thank you for watching happy early christmas from krampus gorn take care everyone good night <laughs>